This numbness in my lip is coming back. You better get that checked out. You know, I heard on the news last night that the avian flu is having a comeback, and you had chicken salad for lunch today. Oh my gosh, and I had eggs for breakfast. Do you think that could be? Is the back of your neck feeling clammy? It is a bit clammy. I think you better get that checked out. Uh -huh. All right, how is everyone doing today? Yeah. Oh okay, well, thank you all for being here. Uh, last session, we had a lot of good headway. So I'd like to continue today's session in the Can I please sit somewhere else? We can give the Ebola virus. You can sit over here next to the Center for the Disease Control. Oh, do you believe her? Phil Jones believes. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Uh, Phil, Phil, I'm going to have a seat. Remember the judge said you can't have physical contact with women? Fine, then we'll have physical contact with the loser shrink. Yeah, this is exactly why I watch daytime television. Okay. Good, good, this is good. Um, again, I'm glad to see everybody's comfortable with being able to share their feelings. Uh, how did last week's exercises go? Doc, let me tell you about my exercises. Right down the crapper. I'm about to take the podium. I have my speech, which I'm going to prepare for, you know, education reform, and all of a sudden, I'm approached by this big, fat, stupid idiot who comes up with a dumb question about uh, standardized testing oh, yeah. and losing. We have to have some of that. So, Phil, we'll work on that. Uh, anybody else? Uh, I had an experience. Oh, no, I hope there was a latex barrier involved. Uh, I was in line at the Java joint, and the barista asked me if I wanted to double. Have we ever said no to double anything? And I was just about to tell him, not only do I want to double, but I want it d and then just crazy d all around in the back of the And then I remembered what you said about how we should step back and evaluate our decisions or something like that. And I asked for it to go. Ugh, get me all worked up and then nothing. What am I, an 11-year-old? I remember being in an L train and this man brushed up against me. It could have been a candy bar, maybe a roll of quarters. And I felt something. And the next day, I had this rash. And I hope it was a roll of quarters. Very good. You know, we still haven't heard anything from Seymour. No one's heard anything from Seymour. I haven't even heard anything from Seymour. You gonna come through today, Seymour, or I, I, just gonna I, I, fizzle out again? Yeah! What a breakthrough! You know, let's have a telethon for Seymour, and with the proceeds, let's get a poker table in here! <laughs> Bill, remember we discussed how gambling won't positively affect your therapy? No! Oh. Well, we did now. Uh, people, you have to acknowledge the issues you have, and only then can you divest of them. Doctor, I don't know what divest means, but maybe in our next one-on-one -on -one session, you could show me. Hey, I read you can get VD from that. Show me. Please don't. You know, there are two things I don't want to hear about. VD and an alien probe. So, can't we just put it behind us? <laughs> oh, you suck! Hey! You think this is some kind of picnic? Having to be the conscience of a spastic mime? You have it easy. I'm hanging out with an individual over here who thinks her favorite pastime is straightening out blades of grass. Hey, hey, we ordered pizza last week and the pizza delivery boy showed up with an open wound on his upper lip. Oh, God, for three days we examined our faces looking for some kind of an infection. And do you know what we found? Nothing. We didn't even get to get sick over it. Well, that's swell. But guess what? The swelling has gone down. Hey, can you get us out of here? Doc, let's get moving here. I have a speech to give at the women's auxiliary. Uh, Phil, uh, I understand you have a campaign to attend to, but let me ask you a question. Who is attending to Phil? Who's making sure that Phil is OK? Oh, doctor, I would like to volunteer to make sure Phil is OK. <laughs> That's what Phil Jones is talking about. Yeah! Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, that's the shocker of the century. Oh, sick of your crap! 
Thank you, Natalie. Uh, but some thoughts are better left to the inner monologue. This guy doesn't even know about all these people in the circle. Some of us only have an inner monologue. <laughs> now, there's something new I want to try. I'm sorry, I cannot continue. And what is it, Penelope? Your collar is flipped up. Penelope, there's nothing wrong with my collar. Could you just fix it for me? Penelope, you're going to have to learn. There's a lot more important But it's such an easy fix. You just flip it down and you take your time. And I just... I've had enough! And I'm tired of listening to all your crap. And I am tired of being pushed around. All right, Marys, calm down. Hey, look, if we're going to talk about these issues, I want to take a shot at you, a shot at you, a shot at you, and a... Body shots? All right, take it outside. <laughs> So, Penelope, that's what I want you to work on for next week. Just leaving things alone. Leave them as they are. Okay, Doc. Sounds good. Okay. And, Phil, if you have to attend any sort of public events, I want you to listen to people and respond without getting yourself too heated. Phil Jones will do that. Okay. And, Natalie, uh, I want you to keep these anonymous encounters to a bare minimum. You know, Doctor, I suddenly don't feel that urge. Strange. I know. That feeling I could die at any moment, it's suddenly gone. I'm out of here. I've got to go teach my auctioneer class. You all talk too much. Good. Great, this is progress. I don't know how we got so far so fast, but uh, we're done here. I'll see you next time. Nicely done, as usual. So, who's it gonna be tonight? Sally, Rhonda, or both? Phil Jones and I approve this message.